you must have seen bridge, buildings, industries, etc., where structures are supported by steel and concrete frames. Look at the small structure of a building. It is having foundation, vertical member called column and horizontal members as beams and slabs. Each part is having own significance and utility. For now, let us just concentrate on what is a beam. Also, we need to understand the effects of loading on the beam. Beam is a structural member of a system having external loads at right angles to its axis. You can see in the figure that dotted line is the axis and load F is applied at right angle. Beams while bending develop tension and compression in their flanges as shown in the figure. When a beam experiences bending moment due to external load, it will change its shape and also due to bending, internal stresses will be developed. There are three types of bending. Lateral bending, torsional bending, and vertical bending. Let us look at the pattern of bending, which are hogging and sagging. Do you know what is hogging and sagging? Look at the ship. When it is curved downwards, it is called sagging. And when it is curved upward, it is called hogging. Same is applicable to beams when load is applied. Hogging describes a beam which curves upwards and sagging describes a beam which curves downwards. Do you know that there are many geometric forms of beams available? The selection of beams are based on span, loading conditions, etc. Widely used cross sections of beams are A. Rectangular cross section B. T cross section C. I cross section D. Triangular cross section E. Circular cross section F. Channel cross section